Did anyone come up with the name Blog Squad or did None it None of us. Happen? It just happened and we were like, went, we tried to fight it. Well, I'm sure it, then it just kind of became a joke almost. Yeah, yeah. Now we have a group chat called the Blog Squad. <laughs> Welcome back to our shared channel. Today on Overshare, we have Kristen McAtee. That's me. Dun, dun, yeah. dun. <laughs> Looking effortlessly cool as usual. And what chic. Can I tell you? We have a very important question we kick off every shared channel opportunity with, and that is, which cartoon <laughs> character sparked her sexual awakening? Oh my gosh. Good reaction to the I know. question. We always have to gauge, like, because people are either like, you're so f***ing weird, or oh, it's no, like, I, oh, yeah, I love these types of questions. Because it's like, come up in our lives just, it like, doesn't organically matter, a lot. But, like, I, I want to know the answer. Yes. Um, Danny Phantom. Why? Why? Tell us about it. He was cool. He had, like, a good bone structure. No, that's a good one. He was like, smooth. Wasn't that a spinoff? Like, I feel like he was, like, originally was on, like, a... Yeah, he was on Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, he was Great like a. Job. He's a real person, at least. We both had animals. Also, though, I didn't feel like we ha we didn't have Danny. Guys. I know we didn't have Danny Phantoms though back in the day. No, 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 oh. no. We had like we had like, we had, like Darkwing Duck, also an animal, and you said ducks is. don't really do it for you. I don't think I don't that's what weird of her to say. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was Robin Hood the fox. Okay, the, I see that. Um, and then hers is Teenage Simba. Teenage Simba. I mean, that's what really interesting. Like, I've never seen Lion King. What? What? I Why? feel like we need to stop this episode oh, right no. now. Oh no! Can we just watch it? Is it? Back? <laughs> I've never I, seen I, it. She was too focused on Danny Phantom. But I'm so really, confused. I, I just wasn't a Disney kid. I didn't watch a lot of Disney stuff at all. I was more like Nickelodeon. <laughs> Lily looks concerned. <laughs> the Lion King? I've never seen it. How have you never seen? That's I'm I'm like not able to comprehend. Lily's that. never look more concerned. That's like my old roommate that had never seen The Price Is Right. I'm like, what's wrong? Okay, with I've seen you? The Price Is Right. Have you ever been sick? <laughs> I just, I've never seen like Aladdin. Oh. I've seen Mulan. Okay, I've seen right. Mulan. That's redemptive. I've seen a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff. Well, it's a classic. <laughs> You've never seen Cinderella! <laughs> so, like, when people talk about the fairy tale, I think of Hilary Duff. I for I met her. <gasps> I had a friend that I, like, grew up with was um, producing Lily Singh's uh, 12 Days of Collabs. Mm -hmm. And Did he with texted me one day, and he was like, hey, uh, what are you doing? Would you want to be in a video with Lily Singh and Hilary Duff? And I'm like, <gasps> yes. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what's and the he's like, I thought you'd say yes. And it was like, I'm like a sales clerk. And like, I worked for Clever and everything at the time. Like, I was just like, yeah, you need an acting extra. But tell Kristen act. about when you took the photo and your hand was shaking and Hillary felt bad for because <laughs> you were so nervous. Oh no. It was like if you were at VidCon and you have to take the phone because someone's like, um, can't take the yeah, selfie. That was me. Take it because I'm like, Lizzie McGuire. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's but she was enough. so sweet. She was like, we had taken a picture and then we were outside and I was like, I just want to tell you that like Lizzie McGuire was my shit. Saved me. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lizzie McGuire saved me. So cute. <laughs> I was like, it was my shit. And she was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, do you want to get another picture? And then I'm like, she knew. I, and she's like, <laughs> I'll Hello. take it. Did she? Did she say that? That's funny. Yeah. Let's talk about Kristen. So, so we met like, at Adeline's. We met at Adeline's garage sale, which yeah. already a showed that you were a great person because you were at a charity garage sale, yes. as were we. So, like, we're good people. Yeah, you guys too. are good people too. And I think a lot of people obviously know you because you're a part of this like amazing group. I got to hang out with you guys Up at Cameron. VidCon. You might have heard of them, the Vlog Squad. And that was my it's first the worst time. Name. I already knew. I, did, did anyone come up with the name Vlog Squad, or did none it just of happen? Us. It just yeah. happened, and we were like, when we tried to fight it. We're like, this is weird. Well, I'm sure it, then it just kind of became a joke almost. Yeah, yeah. Now we have a group chat called the Vlog Squad. <laughs> Do you really? That is so funny. But it was so, first off, wild. Hey, that was because I, Is that what your, your life is? Is that what your life is like? Because I felt like I was with Justin Bieber. You're on a billboard. Wait, do you mean like, I know, I I'm on two. I drove two? past another one today in North Hollywood. So you didn't even know? I didn't even know. I thought it was only on that one with everybody else. I was on one with like Brent Rivera. That's <laughs> wild. You're on Billboard. With Brent Rivera. <laughs> that Bring him out. Huge. Bring him out. <laughs> Brent, <laughs> where are you? The day. Literally. How wow. often do you like go out with everyone? As a whole group, not very often. Maybe like at night to a bar where like our demographic's not really there, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, even walking around VidCon, it, it's intense. I mean, Everybody Do you feel like you're in a boy band. I know. I'm like, oh, stop. No, no pictures. No, I actually, I kind of turn into like mom mode, and I'm, I'm just like, come on, guys, let's go, let's go. Like where everybody else is kind of like, you know, happy and taking it in and like chilling. I just, I get, I get anxious, and 
because I you I just don't know these people, and I, a lot of people write off like, oh, they're your fans, like they have your best interest, but like so much stuff has happened with fans to where I'm like so on edge. I'm like, they're still strangers. Well, right. Also, you're. I feel like maybe not your like as a solo creator, but uh -huh. I feel like the vlog squad in general has a much younger fan base yes. where they maybe don't have that kind of grasp on like what's appropriate don't run up not. to yeah. people and hug them. People have run up and like jumped on me. I have a, I have a terrible back. I have a terrible oh, that's back. So true. I'm like oh. oh my gosh, I didn't even oh. think of that. It was cool. Like first off, being on stage with you guys and like being able to witness all of that firsthand. Then like seeing the behind the scenes of like what the group, the squad is like, which was just like really down to earth, like cool, oh, yeah. friendly, hardworking people. What is it like day to day for you guys, like behind the scenes? Cause you're all doing, like you're doing your own thing completely. Yeah, I mean, just to start off there, yeah. I am doing my own thing. So I'm actually like not around them as much as people think I am. Mm -hmm. Scott is cause they, they all right. do the vlog thing. I mean, totally. the vlog squad. Um, I went into this like wanting to really just stand out on my own. So, I mean, vlogging's great, obviously. Like, all of YouTube is made of it. Mm -hmm. But I was just so adamant on, like, making my own name and kind of doing something that was just made me happy. I don't know. I just, I, I don't think I could for vlog. for yourself. Exactly. Like, no hating on vlog. I, like I said, it does so well, but it just, it wasn't for me. So, so back to the day-to-day -day thing. I mean, when I am there, like, we, on, was it last night? No, Monday night, we threw David a surprise party. It was insane. And like when everybody's together, it's just, it's so much energy. And it's, when, even when no cameras are there, it's still just like, boom, boom, joke after joke after joke. And I'm like, it can get overwhelming. Cause I feel like it's like, I don't want to say- Almost kind of like someone's character, like everyone's kind of characters of themselves. And yes. then when it's all together, it's like the it's cast a, it's is It's just all there. a lot. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not quiet. It's never just like a chill conversation. It's always just like, ah. It's definitely a mood. You are doing stuff that is different than yeah. everybody else. And also you're on billboards. How surreal is that? I, I was talking about it with Scott this morning because we were on our way to Universal and we saw the other one in North Hollywood. I was like, oh my gosh. When I was first told I was going to be on the billboard, I was kind of like, I couldn't wrap my head around it. I was just like, oh, like, it'll be cool. Like, I, How does I just, that conversation go? Yeah, someone just calls you and they're like, hello, we're putting you on a billboard. Do you have to give permission or like? It was through, it was VidCon. So when they were inviting me and stuff, they're like, oh, can we also have, like, what's that like? Um, <laughs> I'm like, we have to like beg our way in. Oh basically. my gosh. They're like, can we also have some like high definition photos, blah, blah, blah. Um, would you be open to? Really high depth, because you're going to be 50 feet <laughs> You're going to be blown up, yeah. It, and they had to be like the highest of depth. That's not high resolution. The Thank highest you. of deaths of deaths. <laughs> so deaf. That is so, so wild. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so leading up to it, I was kind of like, oh, like I don't know what to expect. But then when I went and saw it the first time, it was like, like I was like emotional. Well, it's it, weird to see. It's weird to say, like you. <laughs> She was saying that you're the only person that she knows that hasn't paid to be on a billboard. <laughs> no, a billboard. we know other people who've been on billboards. She was like, she's the only person I know. I was like, well, Tana's on one now, but I think they, like, I guess I'm maybe sure MTV, MTV bought it, yeah. so I guess technically, but yeah. like in promotion of something, like yeah, you got chosen true. to be put on a billboard. Oh, thanks, guys. But you were in, were, or are you in the one that, like, didn't you guys all get one? Oh, that, oh my God, Zane did that. Zane. I said it's in Oh my gosh, that video is so His funny. 100th vlog. Yes. That was, oh my God, that shoot, that was hard. Cause like I said, it's craziness when we're all together. I like bet. getting everybody to just stay still. It's like puppies, it's like That's babies. I, d I it work was a with lot. her, so I'm aware. I'm like, I can't control her. How do you control a bunch of like yeah. guys? They're oh just like, eh, like and it was naked it was and hot. drunk and like. Yeah, literally, literally <laughs> naked and drunk. And, uh, just sitting there and like doing the pose and we had to like just be so like natural and like lay on each other's shoulders it was just the funniest <laughs> photo shoot but it turned out so well but like i love that you said like it's weird because when i think about sometimes actually sit down and think about like what i'm doing what with do. my life i'm like this is so i don't i can't do that, that so much. it's becoming more normal yeah. to like yeah. be doing what we're doing as creators but it's still so weird like mm -hmm. i know you had like a whole other thing you were doing like in fashion yeah and a whole other life. You're like building yeah. a career. So it's, what What exactly was all that? Like, what were like you doing? Normal people's No, <laughs> which I mean, so we like met at Alan's thing and then we had a friend date and went to dinner and just like <laughs> talked for a long time. But you were telling me, you were like, yeah, and then I went here and then I did this job and then this. And I'm like, oh, all so you're a real then. normal person that has had <laughs> jobs so before. Wild. That didn't yeah. just like get famous at 17. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, no, Not no. at all. It was, <laughs> I think it was something I had to do. I had a path all of my life in my head and it was, 
you like I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna be the first person in my family to go to college, which I did. And yes, then, that's yes. amazing. That's yeah. so awesome. It did it. And then now I'm student debt. Anyway, um, <laughs> I just paid mine off, so it does uh, happen eventually. I'm just letting mine sit. <laughs> yeah, just like, all right, I'll, do paper. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> Literally. After school, I was like, I want to go straight into work because some people I know they take time off after school, but I'm such a person that the second I lose momentum. I'm lazy as hell. But also it's like, and we've talked about like childhoods and like parents and stuff. That's yeah. like, some people can take like a year off and it's like- And still like pay bills. And exactly. Like, I'm like, that like, wasn't LOL, a realistic option. Get a job. Yeah. I've, yeah. Besides the roof over my head, I had paid for everything I did since 15 and a half. Mm -hmm. Since I got my first job. I had a goal and I got to that goal at the age of 20. And I, I'm sitting in my, my office and I'm just like- What now? what exactly what now and it was for like a year where i was constantly just i mean i was sitting there i wasn't new anymore so it's not like i was learning things at this job it was a very repetitive job i was good at it good enough whatever but that i just didn't see any growth and there was also this like stigma that i was the youngest person in the office so i felt like nobody they're like oh you have you. to sit like sit in that position for a while like we like pay your dues even though exactly. you were ready to do more Exactly, and it took about a year, constant back and forth, phone calls with my mom, crying to Scott. I'm, I was just like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm depressed. That was the first time I ever mm -hmm. was depressed. And finally, I mean, I was, it was like short fuse over at my old job and then kind of building this following on the other side of it through being in stuff with Scott and everybody else and everything. And I saw an opportunity. I mean, people were like, you should make a channel, blah, blah, And I don't know if this is like bad to say, but I feel like I just had no other option. I was so upset. I was just like, this sucks. I need to do anything else. And the the weekend, I like the Friday I quit, that weekend was my first VidCon. Wow. So I just like dove into it. And I was just like, oh, it, it was overwhelming at first. And I was kind of like, <laughs> till this day, I'm still like, is this the right thing? Should I be doing this, blah, blah, blah. But like, I think off the bat there, I mean, that's a whole other story, but there were so many little things that like the universe was spitting at me that was like, you made the right choice. Yes, this exactly. It. And, and sometimes it chooses you. Totally. I just, I don't, I, I guess I still don't know what I'm supposed to do on this earth, but I feel way closer to it now. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was so confined as most people do and they're yeah. like nine to five because I was still growing, but like I said, the position wasn't so. And I find I that that's in our audience, like on this channel, and I think in general, and maybe yours is the same, is that age where it's like 18 to, to 30. That's like most of our viewers. Hi, mm -hmm. hi friends. And I think it is so common and something no one talks about this idea because you're supposed to be grateful that you got your first job yeah. and you are, but it's like, I had friends who went to college, went to grad school and felt stuck in their choices. Mm -hmm immediately and like they could not change their mind because their whole identity and narrative it's that they had created around. for their whole lives yeah. was like, I'm going to do this, I'm yeah. going to do this. And then they get there to that place and you don't want to be ungrateful for yeah. the opportunity, but like you're depressed. So making that change is so brave. Yeah, it, it was it was interesting, but like, like I was talking about it this weekend, like I said to all the, the girls, I was like, you have to be open to that change. Cause like the plan you make when you're 12, it, things are gonna You're shift. going to change yeah. physically, mentally, emotionally, like in so many ways that it's like, you have to be open to, okay, hey, it might not work out. 100%, and even um, Kingsley, when he was in, was talking about how he has taken like a year off of uploading from YouTube yeah. after being around for 10, 10 years. over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I needed to like give myself the space to like figure out what I actually wanna do mm -hmm. because especially like in a nine to five, or if you're like making on YouTube, if you're doing a bunch of videos that you aren't really passionate about, if you just keep doing it, you're just gonna get stuck in this rat race where you can't really stop. Yep. And you don't have the time to like reflect on what you actually wanna do. Yeah. And so I feel like you got to have this opportunity that you really took advantage of. Yeah. And you probably like, is it safe to say you wouldn't have even been introduced to like the YouTube world? Oh, never, I never would have. But I'm so, I'm so grateful for it and back to the, this past weekend. I mean, this past weekend was so moving. Did to we clarify you, that she went to a yeah, chart event that say. was like a like a leadership kind of Yeah, like. it was called like the Big Big Ego Summit. And I just, we got to meet 25 girls that were handpicked out of like thousands of applicants. And we just had a big summit. There were oh, panels, awesome. workshops, just getting to know them, talking about their goals and aspirations, building confidence. It, it was amazing. This weekend really, really put our jobs into perspective in my head. I was like, 
because I feel like it's so easy to kind of get caught in, oh, I have this many number of followers. When you need to look at it, it's like, those are people. Those are people that clicked follow and like your stuff and comment encouraging words on and that, like, your you stuff. You like, something to them. Yeah. And they're the ones that also are the reason you have a career. Exactly. And like, I, I have this realization a lot and... I don't know, this we can just put it into like even further, just like meeting their faces. Like mm -hmm. I, this, this is how it is at VidCon too, but like these girls specifically seeing that, like how driven they were and they were like, you inspire me to blah, blah. I was just, oh, I was just I so think taken that's back. That's a huge difference of meeting fans that when they come up and they're just like, oh my God, can I get a picture? I love your videos. And yeah. there isn't that kind of like why they like your videos. Good point. And it's hard to kind of, it's like, cool, thank you, bye. Yeah. Like, it's. And it's such like a whirlwind even when that happens that you're For like, sure. oh my God, someone knows who I am. That's yeah. so weird. That Then I think when people are actually like, you inspire me or you inspired me to do this. Those are the ones that you're like, wow, I actually impacted you to do something differently. Yeah. When the other ones feel like it's like just watching you for entertainment. Yeah. But what I also love about what you're doing is that you have things you're passionate about and you're using your platform of these like millions of people to actually tangibly do things. Like why yeah. is that? Because a lot of people talk about things and never do anything. Or a lot of people could have the opportunity as they're dating someone that has a following, they could just be like, okay, cool, me too. And yeah. like jump on the bandwagon. Like that, I, that's not I wanted to like, yeah. like if yeah. I'm gonna do, cause I, I mean, I have to admit, I already felt kind of like, whoa, like I'm just kind of being given this in a way that I was like, okay. You almost feel like guilty. Yeah, honestly, I, sometimes I do. And I'm just like, okay, then I really need to like make a point to make my point mm -hmm. and do and what I want to do. And I always say like, you guys can relate. We're just living life, but on like a bigger platform. So when I find these new passions, like environment stuff, why not just share it? And as I learn things, I, I try to share them too. But one thing I, I just, sometimes I wish criticism about anything was more educational, like teach them what's wrong rather than just shame them and cancel them type of thing. Exactly, and that's why I, I do read as many of the comments as possible and I do appreciate constructive criticism, especially yes. if people are like, hey, I love the video, I loved watching it, but like maybe next time, like just wanna let you know you can get really great like reusable straws on Amazon or something. Yeah. Great, that's love constructive, that. like let's do that. Not like, you stupid bitch, you're killing the earth yeah. and all the rain for yeah. like, You preach this, helping. but you do yeah. this, like, ugh, like. I think everyone is just trying their hardest and yeah. it doesn't matter if you're like, five years old or 500 years old, like you're still learning. Mm -hmm. We cannot know everything no, God, at no. all. Uh, and I would never preach that I do everything perfect because I'm far from it. Exactly, and we've talked in the past that one of the hardest things with being on the internet is that you're opening yourself up to just being misunderstood. Yeah. And even in just real life, one of the hardest things is being misunderstood. Like if yeah. a friend thinks that you, like if you said something and it got back to them that you said it, but it was taken out of context or said in a certain way and it made them feel bad, you're like, that was never my intention. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even say that. This got totally mm -hmm. blown out of proportion. Yeah. Then think of that on like a, just such Millions. a general level. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, they don't know you at all. Yeah. So they have no, nothing to compare it to. Yeah. And then they're immediately just gonna be like, mm, canceled. You're the yeah, worst person ever. Cause yeah. I assume that you hate everyone. I'm like, I think everyone just needs to be more understanding that yeah. people like we're, are just we're people. Yeah. I think we, sometimes we get looked at as just like, Cart not cartoon characters, but just like but movie characters. characters. But yeah. it's like on a season of a show, it's like, you'd be like, oh, I hate that bitch. And I'm like, well, yeah, but that's actually a person. So like, yeah, maybe, like maybe she was having a bad day. Yeah. Like <laughs> That's, I mean, not to go on a tangent, but that's, we've talked um, about like bad comments in the past. And yeah. I've always said like, rarely have I ever gotten like upset from yeah. a Cause it's usually like, really? That's not true. Like, Why are you yeah. saying that? But there was one and it was like specifically because all, it was like a lot of comments on one video. Yeah. And we were trying face masks or something and it was me mocking what the comments were gonna be. And I'm gotcha. like, take your makeup off. You're not even gonna be able to tell if it works. And I was like, guess what? We don't care if it works. <laughs> it was a beauty show where we didn't ever, that was the efficient or the efficacy of everything was not like Very the much, goal yeah, of the, just playing with it. Exactly. Yeah. And, but then all the comments were, Lily doesn't care about this show. Lily doesn't even, like, she shouldn't have even mm. gone. And I'm like, oh, oh, I put my heart and like, soul in it. You how if much you I would care. Yeah. It's yeah. like that disconnect of them not knowing that and never being able to communicate it is, that's the hard part. Yeah. Working with a significant other. That's not normal. A lot of people, so, like, they are so against it. That's actually different for you is that, like, if you're filming stuff, it's for your channel. So he's kind of catering to what you're doing. You True. guys are having to do it for both of your stuff. Mm -hmm. So you both have visions that mm -hmm. you're trying to get to 
line up too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think we also, like it was never some, like a sit down thing where we sat and we were like, we need to like draw the line, blah, blah. I think just over time, we also just have such different content, like I was saying earlier, mm -hmm. that here and there we'll pop into each other's, but making like stuff together, we just kind of stopped. And when we stopped, people were like, oh my God, they're breaking up. This is bad. Oh my God, blah, blah. But little did they know, we're You're better. thriving. Yeah. We're doing You're better. Like, we're exactly. Than ever. exactly. What would you say besides like the billboard moment, which is freaking wild because you are the only person I know that did not pay for their own billboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. What's like been the wildest moment? Maybe my like first red carpet. Which was that what? Was super, what was it? Uh, it was like a movie premiere somewhere. I, I forget what movie. And I just remember trembling. I was literally like vibrating, <laughs> like, <laughs> like smiling at the camera, like so scared. It's so weird when they're just like screaming and they always like definitely my name. They're like, Juicelyn, Jacqueline, whatever. I'm like, oh, these, no one knows. Yeah, I, I, I get Christina, all. Christine, Christian. Oh. I get Christian more than anything. <laughs> You're, I'm just like, I'll take Kristen's it. Kristen's not a weird. It's Kristen. Thank it's you. not even like you spell it weird. Christian is the number one. I am Christian. We'll just call you like K. K. That's what some of my friends K. call me. It's just easier. And it's so weird like having those moments and in times where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just like going to a premiere tonight. I'm like, that is not That's, normal. Yeah. Absolutely and not. It's so Honestly, I was talking about that with someone the other day. Um, I think it was Matt Rob and I um, are on our way to the El Mills birthday party. And we were having this conversation in the car, and especially like with Ubers, yeah. I'll find myself having conversations and then I'm kind of like, this Uber driver probably is like, what the yeah. f are they yeah. talking about? In either a, oh my God, like, I almost feel like sometimes it's like we're, it's as if we're trying to be like, like so neighbor. LA. But I'm like, yeah. no, it's actually just a conversation about yeah. work. On a deeper note, I was talking to my sister about this the other day. Our job can be so toxic in so many ways, but one being that we think we can never stop and we can. Like this, this whole industry, I, I mean, to bring it back to like our like animal days, our brains aren't made to live life on such a, br a big platform. Our, our brains aren't, it's made just like to in like your community and then yeah you, like, you stay in your tribe and like you're you're not supposed to be going going 24 hours a day especially not supposed to be looking at a screen all the time mm -hmm. like i always wonder like how are we gonna be when we're older I'm, i feel like i'm getting so negative no, this whole time think, like no, are I we just gonna be depressed no but i think it's important honest. because then i mean and we've talked about this in multiple episodes the What's kids want to be youtubers to and stuff yeah. and i'm like when i was working at clever and i was doing and i was so in it and like i was there every day and i had like if i was there i should be working so yeah. i'm like might as well edit something else. Might as well film something else. Now I'll have days where it's like the entire day is like I went on a walk and I like cleaned your house. Literally. And like, and like that was like exhausting. Yeah. And like the fact that that and like I'm thinking back to a year ago, I'm like, I would have literally done anything to just do that. Just do. But yeah. even that is stressful for me now because I feel like anytime I take that time to like for myself and I'm like, but should I be working I on a video? Everyone's expecting yeah. something. I should yes. be doing something. No, it's so and I toxic. think I think well, like it's a balance, right? Because I'm really grateful for this opportunity too, because I've had like so many shitty jobs and yeah. like had to work so hard to get to where I am and mm -hmm. where I actually want to be. Yep. That being said, like it's two sided. We have very first world problems, as I also say. But it's all relative, this is like though. a phrase I used the other day that I did not make up. Someone much smarter did. It's like, we are human beings, not, it's like human beings, not human doing yes, or something. Yes. It's like, I it's okay that. to stop moving. It's yeah. truly something I'm not good at. But a friend of mine, Sierra Schultze, do you know her? You got to become friends with her. She's I'm better YouTuber. with faces, maybe. You'd like her. She's new, like she's with I haven't met her yet either, but I'm sure you've been introduced to us. I learned something really great from her. It's that once a month, one day a month, she has like a dark day, not like in a sad way, but she, and I don't know what she calls it, where she's inaccessible and she goes to like a hotel pool or Ooh. something, or goes to a spa and gets a massage or like whatever it is for you, but it is like her day, she does not work, does not respond to things, does not call, does not email, so nothing. One month, one day a month. And actually I think yeah. for everyone watching, a perfect thing to point out is that all three of us, did not plan on having this is our job. I mean, the internet no, no. didn't exist. You were like was, in, I'm, I'm on like, camera and doing stuff, but it was not in this capacity. Yeah, no, I but I love it. It's great. It's awesome. I'm so yeah. happy. Like we get to do fun things like this. I love but it. But life is all about balance in general exactly. or harmony, as they say. That's balance my little name. Possible harmony. Oh my gosh, do you sing? Oh God, no. <laughs> I was gonna say a duet with Scotty coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> the speaker project. By the way. 
Had never met him until VidCon. He's very talented. Yes. His stuff has been coming out really so hard. I feel like I don't remember what song Not it was. Not to totally um, change the subject, yeah. but no, I watched a, a bunch of his videos. Yeah, there's amazing. a music video that came out kind of recently. You're in it. Is it like the diner? Yeah, shot? yeah, Notice I like that one a lot. Yeah. It shot really cool too. It's been crazy to, I mean, over the years, just see this like new passion of his that he didn't even know was in him. He always like had interest in music, but like not to this level. That's such a perfect example though, because even like I never planned on being on air. It was an accident, and yep. she really kind of pushed me, and I was like, oh. and honestly, I'll give so much credit to the people watching is that comments are being like. Oh my god, Lily's so believable. I like her. I want to see more of her. I'm like, you're like they me? do. Wait, like me? <laughs> oh, are you sure? Are you, yeah, I'm sure, sure it's like if I, I could never imagine having any kind of musical talent whatsoever. <laughs> but if you had you're something that was like, even if you were like, I've always said that I was like, even if I was decent at singing, yeah. I would do everything to try it. Like, oh yeah. That if you had like your foot in the door, and then you had all these people encouraging you and mm -hmm. telling you how good you were, that is that will that's unspeakable. Like for sure. But then you could also look at it as like you have to have that happiness within yourself. Cause Scott is told totally. all the time that he's amazing, but he still is like, he was talking about his VidCon performance today. He was like, are you sure it was good? I was like, oh, you're like, dude, you're still thinking about that? Dude, it was the best performance I'd ever seen. I've seen him perform so many times. That was hands down the number one one. He truly does improve every single performance. And every night that he comes on from a session, he's writing so much better. And like, he, he grows so quick. Cause he's someone that just throws himself into it. When an, he's working on an album right now, and he's almost done, but I don't see him. He's in the studio until like 3 a.m. And he comes home and I, I hear him just like kind of listening to what they just tracked, like all quiet. He's so happy about it. That's it's so crazy. Cool. What about like for your video content? Is there anything that you're like stoked about? Starting? Besides cooking me Japanese souffle pancakes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The cook, I, I am so happy and like relieved that I found cooking. I've always liked it, but now putting it into a format with like the cooking with Kristen, like, I feel like I struggled within like the first year. I mean, I feel like I'm still struggling to find my niche mm -hmm. on the platform. I was just, one day I was just like, I'm just gonna try cooking. Cause like I said, I already did it off camera and people were like, oh, this is, this is dope. You're actually like a really good cook. And then you're like, like, duh. I well, I feel like it's feathers. always that kind of like insecurity that you're like, well, is it good enough to be like my thing a though? Video, and I feel yeah. like it doesn't have to be. It's like cooking can just be fun. Totally. Not and, for me personally. But that's, but. that's what I want to <laughs> do with it is just like, I think it's always been looked at as like, traditional and one teaspoon of blah, blah, blah. One, and, and I'm just like, throw that in there. Like I, I, it's not so much, I don't even know if it's easy to follow along with. Someone tell me in the comments below, but- um, Like you don't know if people are watching for the recipe or just the- Or just like, the entertainment, yeah. yeah. And if I could be a little bit of both, that's, that's what I love. I want people to know that it's way easier than it looks. It doesn't have to be expensive. I like that it's like know. you don't have to be an expert. Yeah, exactly. Which was always what we did on Beauty Break, but we were like kind of the kind of very far spectrum of that. You're everything. like at least good at cooking. But I mean, we all eat. At the end of the day, it's like, it's put on this like Michelin star level, like food network. It's like, but we all eat. It's too many ingredients. Anything, anytime <laughs> something is calling for more than three things, I'm like, I'm tapped and out. And that's how I cook. I don't I'm even so own that like, stuff. Simple. <laughs> little, little, little. Like I do a thing on my channel. It's, there's two bowls. One bowl has papers folded up that are different ingredients, like lettuce, tomato, whatever. The other one is different types of dishes. So a pasta, a sandwich, a salad, a cake, whatever. I feel like there was a weird one I watched. What They're all There's really been weird. some very strange And I just times. pull one and one, and it's, it's truly my reaction on the camera, and I put it together, and I've made candy lasagna. I made beer pancakes. You would have loved those. Oh any, adding loved beer those. to almost anything is a good idea. Oh yeah. It's actually a good fluffy. ingredient. Same with Dr. Pepper. Yeah. At same with Dr. Pepper <laughs> as well, Pepper. actually. You can put it on chicken, it's yeah. really good. Me and Lisa yeah. just Work tested out. all of the flavors of Dr. Pepper, so I have I saw plenty that. if you need any to cook with. Any ingredients. I might. We will gift you that, Dr. Pepper, so thank you for coming on Thank you, Dr. Show. Pepper, for sponsoring this. Or um, not. Or oh, yeah, ever. <laughs> um, well. Or Coors Light. <laughs> we still have our, our rapid fire, which oh, we've God. gotten better at. It's a rapid fire that we I'm close out of the It's more of a slow burn, not rapid okay. fire, but, but we're, we're trying. trying. We're trying. So the first question is, would you travel back in time or to the future? Back in time. Ooh. What? I do not want to see era? the future. <laughs> what, what era? Uh, the 80s. Right. So like not in your own life, no, just God, like no. in you just want to go experience another yeah, era. Yeah, for sure. I like that. What's your favorite day of the week? Sunday. Are rats cute? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Good answer. From afar. Yeah, yeah. Just you don't look at sound them. super confident. <laughs> I've never been asked the question. I'm sorry. I'm not I haven't either. We didn't come up with it. Stamps on socks and sandals. Together. Uh, like Scott does it. 
great. So I, I accept like it. You would do it. I would do it. And I do it with look Birkenstocks. Cool. Birkenstocks, yeah. yep. This one is a very hot topic. Would you rather be able to speak every language oh, in the world I don't your answer. or be able to talk to animals? Talk to animals. Right. Oh my god. Stupidest question ever. Oh I'm like, my who gosh. cares about people? But what yeah. if the animals are not interested in communicating? You haven't met her dog. Oh, well, your she dog wants to is talk. very cute. She wants your to dog talk. wants to conversate. It has a lot to say to you. She does. Oh, man. For Good sure answer. the animals. Are you kidding? And then we can ask them about, like, like, what's your biggest problem in the ocean? And they could become part of, like... The solution. Yeah. I'm just saying, guys. That just reminds me of the Finding That's Nemo. Is the Finding Nemo sequel when they're, like, trying to, like, break out of the aquarium. Oh, yeah. Stuff. God. Who would you trade lives with for one day? Joan Rivers. Ugh. I Joan. would want to like just get in her head. Was she okay? I, she, I feel she, like she had a lot of pressure on her. She did. She was carrying comedy for the whole entire female yeah. population. She was. It's true. I just, I just, I wore that. Okay, I say that also because when people say like dinner with somebody dead or alive, it's always her. So like that's why I asked that. It, well, if you switch lives with her, you'll get the most inside scoop because you'll be like, that's true. Yeah. Her. yeah. See, I want to get in her head dinner. and like. Well, rest in peace. R. I. P. Joan. Um, wow. Well, I think we only have one thing left to say to you, and that is. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing. Oh, you really I'm braced so yourself scared. as like, if we were going to no. beat you. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, bitch. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing. This has been a true dream come true. Oh, you are welcome anytime. Damn. Thanks, guys. And you're welcome. And you're welcome. <laughs> but for now, go away. This is over. Thank Bye. you for being here today. I finally said it. You're welcome. <laughs>